And I can hear. All right. So uh, recently, I've been building um a few uh, websites for more blocks for the template and ultimate um, plan that is coming up. Um, hopefully, it should launch um tomorrow. But that being said, um, you can see that on the screen, I do have this uh, rotating um SVG text and a path kind of thing over here, and. While I was building some of the website for more blocks, I ran into a difficulty of making something like this. You see that I always have to like write the code, adjust the code all the time or whatever that the situation is. I have to either go to Figma or Photoshop or Illustrator to try and create probably a static um, image, bring it into breakdance and then write the code to make it spin around infinitely. So that was my, my issue um for the time being when i was building out um websites using breakdance but what what happened was that i thought about it would be a better idea to have something that can generate this on the fly without me having to always write the code or having to go to figma to make a static image so today i present to you path studio so path studio is really simple you have an SVG path stroke that is a circle and a sine wave that you can put text on it and then you can animate it to spin around just like this. So let's go into um, the studio itself and see how it works. So over here, um, so over here is how it looks like. I don't know. I know it's not like the best thing. I just wanted to make something real quick. But I should have like a really nice design when I, I, I'm actually a bit free. So here, I'm going to take you through how this works. Let's uh, let's refresh it so you can see. But here is your text field. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy what we have here and then come in here and just paste it over there. So our text field is done. You can put whatever that you want. As you can see, I do have like some symbols here. So these symbols are not images. They are typographical symbols that are available that you can use. You can go online to find a few of them, but I've added a few here that you can actually just copy, like grab them, and then you can use for your own, like then when you're making it. All right, so this is there. I am going to remove this, so we do have that. And over here, you can choose the shape that you want. At the moment, we're just gonna leave it at the circle because that's what we want. The next thing that I want to do is to create the field for my canvas. So this is um, the SVG canvas. So there's a canvas that we do have. Let's make this like 200. Uh, bring this one back here. Oh, instead of 200, let's do like 500, right? 500. And I know it's over that line. As I said, this is pretty much not the best UI UX thing ever. But so that is that um the next thing that i want to do is increase my font size so we can increase our font size like that and then i can change my my stroke um my start offset so your start offset you see the space in between here at the moment we have a start offset of zero percent so when i move the font so you can see it is going right behind the first text if i increase my offset to like 20 percent, it gives like a 20 percent gap over here so that being done, let me yeah, let me leave at zero. And then you can do like um word spacing. So let's bring this down and then we can increase our word spacing. So we have like some breathing space for the text. And then you can also even open up your, your text a little bit more by using the letter spacing to do that. Uh, the next thing that you want to do is your text um, vertical offset. And this I am going to remove so we can forget about using that. Um, the next thing is your pop stroke width so the stroke for your path you can increase it so as you can see it increases like that when you move the slider and then you have the dimension for your svg so when you increase this the dimension of the svg will also increase so then you have to like increase your font size to match it just like that um that uh, that will be that the next thing that we'll have to do is we can also if we did have the sign if we did choose the sign we can increase the the wave the wavelength and then we can also do rotation if you want to change the position you can bring generator to over here you can bring as here you can bring the pathfinder here 
can bring this over here so whatever way that you wanted to do you can do a rotation a manual rotation just like this the next thing that we want to do is to add an animated rotation so animated rotation is going to spin your svg just like this so that is that for we creating what we want the next thing that i want to do is to go into the colors so over here you can change your font color you can come in here and then you can also change your um your stroke color and and then after that yeah you're, you're basically done you can click on generate again if this is not centered you can clear everything if you don't if you want to start afresh and then you can also click on copy svg so we've copied our svg so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go into breakdance and i'm going to show you how to paste it all right so in breakdance over here you can see that we have one that is already running i clicked on that i go in here and then i'm going to select everything and then remove it right and then in here i'm just going to paste what we just did mm, so our background let's fix our background color to something that is a bit more so this will be our background color as you can see we have created a text on a path in less than probably like two or three minutes but it should be really fast if you are not doing a video just just like how i'm doing a video i'm doing a video so i'm talking a lot i'm trying to explain stuff to you but this can take you less than like a minute for you to create something as cool as this and then you can also use in your own website build so how do you access this if you are on more blocks free plan or the pro plan you should be able to access the path studio um you should be able to access path studio for you to create your svgs 